Hello Pisces, welcome to Souls Intersect. I have your October of 2016 Intuitive Tarot reading. I'm going to be doing an extended reading for you this month because I didn't get around to doing that second intuitive reading that I did for most of the other signs last month. So I'm going to do my normal reading with the cards and then after I'm going to call in any additional messages, just intuitive messages directly from Spirit. If you're interested in a private reading, please email me at soulsintersect at gmail.com. And if you're still watching this, if it's September still when you're watching this, I do have the specials going until the end of the month, so you can follow the link to my site to learn more about that. Okay. Uh, so one thing quickly is, it, it does seem like if, if there's anything where some of you have been waiting for it almost seems like a like a pardon or um, the release of something financial like if if there's something financial that you've been waiting for or forgiveness of a loan or something along those lines is very little literal but the bottom the bottom row does seem to indicate that that's that that might be something coming through for you this month so like a forgiveness of a loan perhaps and something that will help you feel like you're more on your way to financial freedom. It could also play out in, in different ways. Maybe it may also be like waiting for a loan or consolidating debt or, or something along those lines. Maybe even an inheritance for some of you. Okay. Um, the, the other thing that looks like maybe a fairly literal thing is the, the possible announcement of, it could be a birth or a wedding even like receiving a wedding invitation and if that's the case it feels like something that you may be involved in in some way and you you may be able to contribute to in some way and it, it doesn't it doesn't just feel like you know something that it feels like it's it, it would impact you directly in some way it feels like something that you have a stake in or you've been really hoping for and that hearing about it is, is going to be really good news for you as well. Okay, so let me tune in a little bit more and see what I pick up on intuitively. So I'm also getting the sense, it's interesting with the clouds in this, um, the Seven of Cups card and then the Judgment card below it. I'm feeling like there's the, the need to clear the air about something in your emotional world. And I get the sense that there, there may be something that has felt like it's been overburdening you in the way that uh, confusing you, like mixed messages is something I'm getting to. And it does feel like something in, in regard to emotions and possibly romance or relationships. I get, I get the sense that something shifted. It may not be an ending necessarily, and, and whatever it is, it's something in the past. Uh, could be recent past, but it feels like something went down, there was a shift, you're not sure what happened, and you're really wanting to clear the air and also get a clearer understanding of what's going on. The Seven of Cups uh, for this reading, it's this card here, I'm really picking up on confusion for this particular reading. And it, it feels like something that, previous to that, felt like all the communication was very clear and things were going smoothly and, and, and they were enjoyable, you know, with the, the Three of Cups card. And then, and the Six of Wands, it felt like you you had had really reached a place where you you felt like you were achieving something that you, you'd been wanting, you'd been, you'd been desiring for a while. But then suddenly there was some sort of shift and maybe it feels like if it's it's in regard to another person, it does feel like like a partnership, maybe someone you were just dating or just interested in, maybe someone that you're already with, and it could be this King of Pentacles person. Um, so as I mentioned before, I was also picking up on something related to something financial with that person. That's going to be true for some of you. For others of you, it feels like it, this could be that person related to whatever's happening in your emotional world. So we have the King of Pentacles. This. It feels like someone who is very careful about planning and very meticulous about the way they do things. 
And again, I feel like that was really working for the two of you because things were just open and there was all this clear communication. And there may be some sense of you having, you, you were expecting it to continue in that way, understandably, and then something shifted, as I said. So getting a little bit more into that, whatever it is, it feels like there's been a little bit of distance maybe and unexplained distance. I don't feel like this is a case where, where someone has just completely exited your life. It feels like there, there is still this emotional attachment and a bond. And so if it's someone that you've been dating, it does feel like that's, that has continued, but you're not really understanding why something has shifted. And this reading is showing me that it most likely has to do with the person's work or something very practical that they're working on. And it does feel like a positive change for them, but that they may be needing to uh, give some extra energy to this, give some added attention to this, because they need to make amends with something, it feels like. So that, that may not be literally like they, they need to make up for you know a financial loss or that they did something wrong and, and need to make up for it, but I'm getting it in the sense of like a commitment that they made where they feel like they they need to give a little bit of extra effort because they promised that they would in some way. And ultimately, it does feel like this will this will have a positive outcome for them. But if you've been feeling like you're wondering what's going on with someone because the the energy shifted in some way, it does feel like most likely it's it's not related to you in any way and that the only way that it may be related to you is by you know, that it's going to benefit you later on because it's, it's going to benefit them. But overall, it does feel like the energy there is really good. And, and I'm also seeing the Ace of Swords as communication coming through about that. So I, I also don't think that you're going to be in the dark for, for much longer. I, f I feel like the you will gain a sense of understanding about it because of communication from them. And... I also don't think it ever hurts for you to initiate that, just to maybe put the question out there that it feels like something's a little bit different and that you'd like to understand why, because I think that it's only going to help in this situation. I feel like you may be fearing that it would be bad news, and I'm getting the sense for most of you that that's not the case, and that, again, it's not, it's not necessarily related to you fully. I am picking up on a lot of worry. Um, about this and so I, I think that came through in what I just said if you don't feel comfortable being the one to to bring it up I do feel that the air will clear soon enough so if that is bringing up some fear for you I would I would say hold off for now because I think that it's going to clear it's going to clear up on its own ultimately okay let me see what else comes through here So I'm also getting the sense that there there's something else happening. It still feels like it could be in, re, in relationship to your emotional world, but maybe not so much a relationship. Maybe more something to do with yourself. And, and for some of you, it almost feels like uh, waiting for a medication to work. So that could be something related to mental health, but it could also be physical. Um, and it could also be herbal things that you're taking, but I'm, I'm getting the sense with the Seven of Cups that you've been trying some different things and they haven't been working. And I feel like you're going to reach a new level with that, with the Judgment card coming below it. I feel like if you just started trying something recently, it could also be an activity that you're doing. I feel like you're going to start to see the benefits of that soon. I feel that in the in the recent past, it, it there was a, there was the sense of feeling like you were never going to quite get to that point of you know, either recovery or um, feeling better, relief in some way, anything from pain to um, anxiety or maybe something more acutely physical. It feels like you're going to cross a threshold and that it, that's going to bring in that sense of relief for you and that it's going to help you and that soon after you're, you're going to really feel you're on um, that, that you've gained new footing and that you 
feel maybe better than you ever have for some of you. So I definitely get that sense from it too. Okay, so now I'm going to raise the vibration and I'm going to call in any additional intuitive messages aside from the, the cards that want to come through for you. Okay, Pisces, so I'm, I'm seeing, um, I'm feeling actually, I'm, I'm getting it on the empathic level. I'm still feeling that, that sense of anxiety and worry. It almost feels like anguish for some of you. And I was thinking during the reading that it was related to that, that relationship and maybe fearing coming forward about um, discussing what's bothering you. And it, and it may be part of it for some of you. But since it's coming in now with additional messages, I do feel that there is there is something more there. It's also going to be in relation to maybe trying to get healing for that, maybe even through medication for some of you, um, which also came up in the reading. I do feel that relief is in sight. I also feel that there, there's a sense about it where, and, and the last thing that I would want you to do is, is blame yourself in any way, but I, I want to point out that what I'm seeing is it's almost like this, you amplifying it in some way by by focusing on it and it's almost like that that mind over matter type thing and and I'm not the type of person to believe that something only occurs in your head and that it's you know I would never say that you're imagining it or anything like that but what I'm seeing is that focusing on the 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 negative feeling of whatever it is it does feel very emotional or mental for a lot of you but it could also be physical pain uh, something very much health related it seems whatever that is I feel that there's a way around it for you to try not to focus on the negative side of it and if it's pain and it's suffering there's not necessarily a positive side of it but I still feel that there's a way of focusing on remembering the times that you have felt better and trying to resonate with the energy around those times more so than resonating with the times when you feel worse or have felt worse because I, I again I feel like that's compounding it in some way and I know that this is a really hard task to do whenever we're suffering from anything that's that's acute it, it's it feels almost impossible to to not focus on it especially if it's something that it infuses into every moment like an emotional thing or an, a mental thing or like a headache or something that's that's much closer to your head it's it's very difficult to keep it out of our mind but I am encouraging and I feel like if you ask for help with this also there is a way for you to learn some coping skills that will help you it's not ignoring it at all it's just trying to bring in the energy around times when you have felt better it's almost like visualizing that and bringing it in and also just asking for healing. If you feel like that that is just too much of a task for you to try to kind of manage your thinking that way, I think it will work for some of you. If it feels like that's just too much, I feel like it's just asking for healing. Don't forget to ask for the help. It might not come right away. It might not come when the, the pain or whatever it is is at its worst, but I feel like it will come eventually. And again, I also feel with the judgment card here that ultimately you are on your way to breaking through a threshold and and attaining that that recovery something that a lot of you have been longing for for quite some time okay so i'm going to wrap it up here if you have any questions feel free to leave me comments or email me at soulsintersect@gmail.com. at gmail.com thank you pisces